All right, folks, welcome to my second rant of the day. And I'm back once again with another food review. Like I mentioned yesterday in part 28 of my gameplay of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, my review on the chicken sandwich from Popeyes is going to have to wait because if y'all didn't see the news yesterday, this happened on Labor Day. One guy decided to go to Popeyes off of Scott. Hold on, what was the street called again? My friend Mike Henry left a comment on it yesterday in my 20, part 28 of my gameplay of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. It was about some man shotting some employees at Popeyes just because they're still out of the chicken sandwich. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Like, I really don't understand. You gonna really shot some employees because they're still out of the chicken sandwich from Popeyes. Are you serious? Come on now. On Scott Street. That's exactly where the employees from Popeyes got shot at because they're still out of the chicken sandwich. But like I said, my review on it is coming as soon as they make some more. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing a review on the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. I said this past Saturday in my review on the Wendy's Spicy Nuggets that I was going to do a review on this. I saw a commercial of it and it says it's 100% Whopper and 0% beef. Let's see if it's true. Let's see if this Whopper's good. Because I heard a lot of good things about this. Alright. Typical Whopper. With onions, mayonnaise, ketchup, and lettuce. Alright, let's see. What grade do this Impossible Whopper get? And what do I rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? So without wasting more time, let's get this over with. First bite is good. Okay. I can see why they call this the Impossible Whopper. It said it's 100% Whopper and 0% beef. Let me drink some water real quick. I'm actually enjoying this burger so far. Let me know in the comments down below, did you try the Impossible Whopper from Burger King? Would have been better if they put cheese on this. Let me take one more bite.
All right. So the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. It is tastes good. It is really not that bad. I give Burger King credit for finally coming up with a good burger. I meet the rest when I get off here. But yeah, so I actually like the Whopper, the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. So I got to give this an A. And I got to give this a 10. I don't give out 10s when I do food reviews. They are earned. So I give the Impossible Whopper Burger King a 10. If you have not tried the Impossible Whopper from Burger King, I will highly recommend it to you. So, this is actually pretty good. You guys should try this shit out. That's going to wrap up my review on the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. Let me know what you guys think about my review on the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. And leave a comment down below, which food do you want me to review next? Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Hit subscribe, click on the notification bell for the next video. And I'll be back tonight talking about two segments between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin that aired on the September 4th, 2001 edition of SmackDown. Don't follow your dreams, chase them. Peace.